Hey, Fanhead Surgeon here with another Cigar Federation video review. Today we're reviewing the Rose of Sharon from Southern Draw Cigars. Now, if you've been following our reviews, you know that Southern Draw Cigars has performed quite well with a lot of their offerings. This is their newest offering, uh, just debuted very recently in uh, 2017. And it's a, it's a cigar that's dedicated uh, by the owner of Southern Draw Cigars, Robert Holt, to his wife, Sharon kind of romantic it's kind of sweet um, you don't see a lot of that in the industry uh, you know you rarely see cigars with a manufacturer's name on it and dedication cigars are even rarer than that a little bit about the blend Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper love that Ecuadorian Connecticut and it's Connecticut shade Nicaraguan binder Nicaraguan filler it's got uh, some Dominican Peloto Cubano in there in the filler as well just round things out and uh, made in Nicaragua uh, now it comes in a few different sizes today we're smoking the Toro which is a 6x52 on its own the Toro has a 950 MSRP but we've got something a little bit special for you today and this is the Rose of Sharon very elegant two Toro package it's a wood box uh, you can see it says there she don't know she's beautiful it's kind of a sweet little homage to Sharon and it opens up with a little wooden section there On the inside you've got two sticks so we're gonna pull one of those out and we're gonna review those today now I've already reviewed a pre-release of this and it was very good very enjoyable but you never can tell until the cigar is actually released what the cigar is so here we go it's got that pink secondary band on it. It's got the band that says Southern Draw on it. And it is Toro. It's got that slight box press to it. It's a soft box press. And then the end has got the, uh, it's got a closed foot, semi-closed foot. There's a little bit of showing there, but it's basically a closed foot. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a little nose here and then get smoking. So definitely got that Ecuadorian Connecticut shade, Connecticut shade nose to it. A lot of dry barnyard. There's some hay underneath that. Pretty much what I would expect out of a Connecticut shade. The only thing really out of the foot, and it's tough because it is a closed foot, so mostly I'm going to see smell wrapper. But I'd say the wooden hay is maybe a little bit more pronounced there. But, you know, really can't tell. So let's get cracking. If you want to see more about my lighting and cutting technique, you can check the video out on the channel, Why I Light Before I Cut. That'll give you a full explanation. Very easy draw, very little resistance. I'd say it's uh, open, mostly open. Initial impressions, you get a lot of sweetness. A little bit of spice post-draw, very delayed. A lot more spicy in the retrohale. This is certainly not a traditional Connecticut. You can tell it's ramped up. So if you, you are a regular Connecticut shade wrap, uh, type cigar you tend to gravitate towards milder cigars this might be out of your wheelhouse but if you are looking for something with a little bit more body to it you can tell right away this is this is probably more towards the medium end of the spectrum lots of smoke production very satisfying I've talked about that on reviews before it's very nice to get a large amount of uh, smoke production when you take a draw you're apt to draw a little bit less hard on the cigar when you're getting a satisfying amount of uh, smoke and certainly getting a lot of smoke here so we're gonna let this first third settle in and talk about the flavors as they progress just shy of the 10 minute mark here first third settling in nicely on the rose of sharon definitely not a traditional connecticut it's got a lot more body to it, but it's not overpowering. It's definitely in the, in the medium strength category. If you're not a fan of spice or pepper, this might not be the right stick for you, but it's got just enough spice to balance off that sweetness. I do find the Connecticut shade, typically a traditional Connecticut shade, tends to have a lot of uh, sweetness, but also a lot of grassy and dry wood. This definitely has that sweetness, but the uh, dry wood that's there is a little bit more subdued, probably hidden underneath the uh, spiciness. And the spiciness definitely hits you in the post draw, uh, very similar to uh, spicy food where it picks up after you've tasted it, uh, a lot more lingering in the post draw, and obviously more intense in the retrohale as well. So smoking quite quickly because again, the draw is towards the open side. I'm already about an inch in here 
on the first third in under 10 minutes. So we might be looking at a rather quick smoking time. One of the things to keep in mind with a box press cigar is that typically tobacco's, tobacco filler is removed to make it a box press. It rests a lot more comfortably in your mouth. You can see that's a lot more comfortable like that than a rounded cigar. I tend to be a big fan of box press, but you do tend to get a little bit more of an open draw. So one of the risks here is that you're going to be smoking too fast, so you do need to slow down. I need to be cognizant of that as well. In the 25 minute mark here on the Rose of Sharon, the spices that were really prevalent in the first inch kind of fallen off. They're still there. They're at about a medium minus, not as much lingering pepper, but definitely still there. And it's definitely still serving as a counterpoint to that sweetness. Settled in very nicely. The, the sweetness is, again, very nice because I do find that uh, Connecticut, Connecticut shade blends tend to do have a lot of that grassiness, the hay, uh, the woodiness, um, which sometimes I'm not in the mood for. And I'm really not finding that here. It's just really that combination of, of spices and sweetness. We're probably approaching the end of the first third here in the next five or ten minutes. And as we move into the middle third, I'll talk about the flavor transitions and whatever else comes to the surface. In the 30 minute mark here, now I'm not sure if it's a factor of how fast I'm smoking, but there is a fair amount of nicotine strength here. Certainly a lot more than what I would typically expect with the Connecticut shade. So again, I wouldn't classify this as a cigar ideal for a beginner smoker. This is really a cigar that's for a smoker that's been smoking for some time, looking for a little bit more flavor profile, uh, complexity from say a Connecticut shade or some of the lighter bodied smokes that they are enjoying. No profile changes just yet. We are just starting to transition into the middle third here. So I'll remark on anything as it comes up. Passing the 40 minute mark here, both the sweetness and the spices are declining in intensity here. Everything's becoming a little bit more nuanced as we move into the middle third. Tiny, tiny bit of post-draw uh, woodiness, but it doesn't have a drying mouthfeel to it. It's just kind of a uh, accent note to the flavor profile. Probably have another five minutes here as the middle third settles in and we'll see what other flavors come to the surface. Coming up on the one hour mark here on the Rosa Sharon, significant evolution of the profile. Initially I'm getting some uh, barbecue flavors. So it's a rich uh, smoky, you know, like a barbecue smoke flavor. Underneath that, I get a little bit of spicy wood. And then post-drawing, that wood evolves into a bit of a drying wood. On the retrohale, the spice is really prevalent. It, it's a supportive note on the regular draw, but on the retrohale, it kind of dominates the retrohale. So if you're looking for that spice kick, you take a retrohale and you're getting a lot of that spice. It's back up to the medium strength level. I'd say the profile has stepped up significantly in complexity from the first third. I'm excited to see where this is going. Now we're 15 minute mark on the Southern Draw Rose of Sharon. Profile has evolved again. That dry woodiness is kind of taking over the regular draw now. The barbecue smokiness that I was getting has really fallen off. Uh, it was there present for the first half of the middle third. Now the middle third is winding down. It's pretty much gone, replaced again by that dry woodiness on the retro hail. There's that barbecue smokiness on the retro hail. Spices that were so strong on the retro hell at the beginning and middle of the middle third, falling off, replaced with that barbecue smokiness. Still getting that uh, pepper spiciness post draw, but not nearly as intense as it started out. We'll be in the last third here in about five, 10 minutes. We'll check in, see what the flavors are at. Passing the hour and 35 minute mark here, well into the last third of the Rose of Sharon. That cedar note is really taking over the profile here. It's definitely got a drying mouthfeel to it. And along with it, it's got some hay, which I uh, wasn't picking up until really I got into the last third on the retro hill. There's a really nice, rich baking spice in the retro hill. That pepper that was really taking over the retro hill and there on the post draw is gone and it's been replaced by complex spices. 
So far, I don't think the last third is as complex as the middle third, but both the last third and the middle third are more complex than the first third. So the cigar has shown a significant amount of flavor evolution as it's progressed. Wrapping up the review of the Southern Draw Rose of Sharon and the Toro Vitola, this is going to have a broad appeal to a lot of cigar smokers. You get the Connecticut Shade smokers who are looking to move up in intensity, mixed with a medium profile that you know is going to apply to a lot of the fuller bodied smokers. So I think it's going to have a lot of reach and it's a very tasty smoke. I like the fact that the flavors evolved as it smoked. Some cigars tend to sort of hit their peak in the first third and then they decline as the cigar goes on. So you get your best experience up front where this cigar kind of hit its stride in the middle, which is really nice. Great smoking time. Love that box press. Very comfortable mouthfeel. Uh, smoking time, I probably smoked a little bit faster than I should have, but smoking time still within that time period that I would think is appropriate for a Toro. Definitely want to check these out. You can pick it up as single or you can pick it up as that two-pack Vitola in the very nice presentation box. Definitely want to check that out. Thanks for checking out our video review. You can check out the written review at CigarFederation.com. We'll be back next week with another Cigar Federation video review. You can drop us a line on our YouTube channel or send me an email, surgeon at CigarFederation.com. Thanks very much. Have a great weekend. Wood. What can I say? It's warm outside. <laughs>